Hey guys, how's it going? Now the stable build for iOS 14 might still be a couple of weeks away but the public beta is already out and I have installed it on my iPhone and trust me, it's a great way to use your iPhone. You know, it really enhances the overall experience with the new privacy enhancement and of course the new widgets. However, one of the most anticipated features that finally made its way to iOS is picture in picture mode. Sadly, there is still a lot of well, speculation around it, considering the fact that it is not that stable and it does not work with a lot of apps. So, which apps can you use it for and how do you enable it? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll show you how you can enable picture-in-picture -picture mode on your iOS 14 device, basically whether it's an iPhone or an iPad OS running on an iPad. Let's get started. Okay, so to enable PIP on your device, start by opening the settings app. Now tap on general and then on picture in picture. On the screen that follows, turn on the switch next to start PIP automatically. And that's it, your PIP feature should now be enabled. Now to make use of it, try quitting to the home screen while playing a video in an app such as Apple TV or Netflix and it should automatically show up in a PIP pane. Now before you ask, unfortunately PIP still does not work for a lot of other apps such as YouTube. There is a slight workaround for it, so basically if you open YouTube inside your Safari web browser and then swipe up to the home screen, uh, the picture in picture mode will kick in. But yeah, I mean, uh, we expect that with iOS 14 things will become more stable and more apps will support it, but for now that is the way around for it. Now despite its usefulness, there are some users out there who might find PIP annoying. I don't know who you are, but if you do find it annoying, don't worry, turning it off is just as easy. As you would expect, just go to settings, general, picture in picture and turn off the switch next to start PIP automatically and that's it. Well, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.